tomorrow in England there's going to be another lockdown. Here in Scotland I don't know what's going to happen yet. Our First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, um, seems undecided about how to proceed from here. And a lot has to do with the furlough scheme. And that in itself is strange because it's not like up until recently we've had an amazing economical system um, where governments have a surplus of funds. Uh, there has been government borrowing to the tune of hundreds of billions for a, for a long time. And then I heard recently that since this coronavirus lockdown thing and the bailing out of employees, uh, paying them 80% of what they would normally earn to stay at home, has cost something like five times the amount of money that the government had already borrowed up to that point. So the question of how it's going to be paid for is an open question. And uh, some people are concerned that there might be hyperinflation, like a, as in what happened in Germany in the 1930s. But we just don't know. And when you think about in terms of resources and the things which people need to survive to get by, food and shelter, very basic requirements, um, yeah, it's true, a fraction of the population can do whatever they need to do to make those things happen. But in, able to, in order to earn enough money to be able to buy these things without them being bought for you, or paid for indirectly by the taxpayer, um, how is it all going to work in the long run? It seems this pandemic and the whole wearing of masks and antisocial distancing and these things that we're kind of getting getting used to now there doesn't seem to be an end in sight even though schools here in Scotland at least are still kind of functioning there, there's certain measures put in place to try and keep uh, children separate or groups of children separate but really from my own observation that doesn't really happen so the fact that we can't gather in groups of more than six people and we can't go into other people's houses, um, it kind of seems pointless. But whether I'm allowed to say that and not be pounced upon for being a heretic is another interesting matter, an interesting question. And it's something I've been giving a lot of thought to in recent times, the whole concept of the freedom of speech, being able to say what you really think without being jumped upon or ridiculed or shot down in flames. Um, I know when I have expressed scepticism about how effective these things are, masks, um, Yes, maybe they do um, slow down the spread of the coronavirus, the COVID-19 um, pathogen, whatever you want to call it, the virus. Um, maybe they do slow down the spread. Um, but how effective they really are and what difference it really makes, especially when you see people out and about, you know, walking down the road, miles away from anybody, anyone else. Not, I don't live in a city, keep that in mind, but um, in the rural West Highlands of Scotland, um, there's plenty of space anyway, but you still see people with the masks on, and they're miles, you see people in their cars, driving in their own cars with masks on. Seems a bit odd. So... Yeah, I don't know how effective they are. I'm not one of these people who point-blank refuses to wear one. Um, I just uh, go along with 
you know the latest uh, requirements even if I think they're a bit daft um, which ties in with the whole freedom of speech thing um, I'm not really a boat rocker um, and that might not be a particularly good thing um, I can very well see and understand the wish to have a relatively hassle-free quiet life um, my work situation, I am involved in the food supply chain, so throughout this pandemic since March I've been working as normal. When I go to work I have to have my temperature checked every single time, have to wear masks in um, places where there are lots of people, when I'm just by myself I don't have to. Um, there's hand sanitizer all over the place, etc., etc. All of these measures to... Because obviously the place I work, the company, does not want uh, an outbreak of the pandemic and then have to have the whole place shut down, which is obviously a risk. So we have to take mitigating measures. But yeah, the freedom to say exactly what you think... Um, Obviously, people don't want to uh, hurt others around them. So it's not just a case of what is legally or politically correct to say or not say, but in personal situations as well. Um, one thing I've learned is it's impossible to keep everybody happy all the time because you agree with, you go along with what one person says and that doesn't, it's incompatible with what somebody else wants. So sometimes you end up walking a tightrope or navigating through a minefield. And yeah, some people are less agreeable by nature and don't really care who they offend or upset. Um, so yeah, it's a tricky thing to, to, to navigate. Um, as always, sitting here making a video and the all the things I wanted to say, a whole load of stuff I wanted to speak about, it's not all immediately at the forefront of my mind and that's because there's a camera rolling and I think a lot of people who make videos that are not scripted can sympathise with that. So I will stop this one here and quite possibly make another one very soon. So if you have been watching, thank you and see you next time.